Hello and welcome to the channel. Thank you again for the support of late. I really appreciate that. So we're going to be talking about the next Civic Type R to be the final Honda sold in Europe without electrification. So as you can tell, um, everybody has been pushing electricity or at least um, electric cars really hard this generation as well as um, I don't want to say like they really haven't really been pushing um, hydrogen fuel cells as much as they have with electricity but we only time will tell um, when all this stuff really solidifies you know because who really knows which one's gonna be the top one on top kind of like VHS and Betamax and Blu-ray and HD DVD. So right now, this is just the ground floor, the beginning, or should I say the inception of electrification. So let's go ahead and cover this um, article real quick. Well, we'll try to do it real quick. Just kidding. So it doesn't have a long ass video. Anyway. So next generation Honda Civic Type R could be the final vehicle sold by car, mark, car maker in Europe without some form of electrification, according to a new report. Now, the electro, electrification is, um, you know, it has to have some sort of, I was going to say something stupid, but no, it has to have some sort of um, a hybrid system in it. Um, Kind of like the um, the NSX. The NSX is a motor vehicle with some electricity, a hybrid system that's implemented into the vehicle, and yeah, and some fake noise too because that seems like the future with Honda with fake ass noise. They did the same thing for the SI too. Um, I'm not sure about the. I think the Type R also for the new ones, but mine is not covered under those fake noise. I like that real fucking noise the car makes. And I'm not a really big fan of automatic vehicles, especially when it comes to sports cars. Until you hit that supercar level, that's where I prefer the automatic. But I wanna say like just the regular sport cars, like the Civic Type R and pretty much what the there was a, there's a ton there's a Yaris GR which that thing is a fucking monster man for all wheel drive little tiny car man and um what else the VW Golfs and uh what is it um the Supras I don't know why they don't have a stick shift these are just the cars that I'm thinking in my head the 350Z um the Kia whichever the Kia one was I cannot remember but yeah, that should be also manual. Any any car that is a sport car and doesn't break, I want to say like over 300 horsepower, it should at least offer manuals. Like, oh, the BMWs. Yeah, the BMW M2, M3s, M M4s. I'm still happy that they're making stick shift. At least the stick has not died yet. Um, anyway, we are going way off track here. So let's get back in the right track. While Honda has yet to unveil the new Civic in production, just let alone the flagship Type R, a handful of camouflage prototypes were spy testing throughout 2020. It is expected to launch for the 2022 model. Now, the Type R will be late for the party for the 2022 models, and um, they usually want to drop the regular one first, so you're going to have the regular Civic. We have already seen what the Civic sedan looks like. And then right after the sedan, we're going to be seeing the hatchback. And then as soon as we see the hatchbacks, then we're going to be seeing what the um, the Type R looks like. Or they might just show us what the SI looks like. Because we have the sedan, and then, but we don't know what the SI will look like or the, um, the aggressiveness of the SI. But we have seen the Type R testing for 2022 model. And there are certain ones that actually take off the camouflage kind of kind of showing what it would look like from the prototype photos and stuff like that. So some of them are actually pretty damn good. And I hope that it, 
they stick to it, but who knows. <clears throat> the car manufacturer has previously committed to offering hybrid or fully electric variants of each of its mainstream models in Europe between 2022 and 2025, meaning the Civic Type R will be the final model powered by solely by internal combustion engine auto car reports. I got no problem with that, guys. I love the internal combustion engine, but I also love technology also, so I'm not really closing the door on having an electric car. I will buy one eventually. Maybe sooner than later. Hmm, maybe. Specification about the car remain unconfirmed, although some reports from last year had suggested that it would feature a hybrid powertrain and all-wheel drive system. Dog, if they come up with an all-wheel drive system for the Type R, sold. I'll find a way to get it. I don't know how. With all the markup. Fucking dealerships. Fuck them. I wish Honda would just sell us the cars directly like Tesla. Like Tesla. And, yeah. To push its performance to new levels, this comes in contrast to the latest report which stipulates that the 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder will be retained for the next-gen Type R. So, in case, like I said, in case you weren't aware, um, electric seems like it's one of those viable options for the future when it comes to the motor vehicle because they're trying to reduce the amount of pollution in our air, especially here in California. If you live in California, um, they have an initiative that they want to get rid of all the elect or all gasoline vehicle cars by 2035. I don't know how that's going to happen, but as long as you already have that said vehicle, you're fine. It's just that they don't want you selling brand new vehicles to the mass market. Um, they want to push that electric and hydrogen. And like I said, we won't see what that future would look like until like a few years from now. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Yep. The current models turbocharged four cylinder pumps out 316 horsepower. Since they're keeping the same car, um, I think that also happened for, I want to say the eighth gen and the ninth gen. They both had the same engine. But the difference is they just give you a different tune for it and give you more power. Exactly. That's exactly what's going to happen with this 2-liter turbo that the Type R is going to have. They're going to give it more power. I don't know how much power they're going to give it. Um, knowing Honda, they're very fucking stingy when it comes to offering more power for their vehicles. So if I was a guessing man, I would guess like mm, either 10 more horsepower or 15 more horsepower for the 2022 Type R. So it'll either be 330, 326, and roughly about 310 or 315 in torque, hypothetically, but that's not to the wheels, you know. But that's just my guess. I could be completely wrong. What are your thoughts? Leave the comments below um, letting me know what is your guess. How much power do you think Honda is going to be pumping out on the 2022 Civic Type R? Um, and we'll see who's right. It's fair to assume that Honda's engineers will make some upgrades and refinements to this engine. Facts. It's unclear just how much grunt the car could efficiently deliver while retaining its front-wheel drive layout. But as, but as the current... FKA Type R is efficiently, whoops, I'm going backwards, is free of any torque steer, it could certainly handle a modest bump in power. Yes, it can. Um, I've seen I've seen people in the modern community getting it all the way up to like 350 horsepower, or like ridiculous amount of torque as well. So we'll see what happens. Um, I, this is fake though. I know, it's fake. It looks nice though. Not a fan of this long stride lights from the charger, but I do like this back end right there. That looks pretty dope. And this whole area, just the rear bumper, it looks pretty fucking dope. I like this fucking bumper. I wish I could have this on my Type R. Maybe somebody will make it. Who knows? Anyway, spy shots as well as rendering of the new Civic Type R reveal that it will be slightly longer than outgoing model and have a slightly less outlandish design. 
With that being said, there will be flared arches, various true or fake air vents, and a large wing rear. A slightly less obtuse version <laughs> without this wing is also possible. Who knows if maybe this is the year that Honda is going to be bringing the the sport line back to United States or it's going to be the first time that they bring the sport line back to United States. Who really knows what Honda's plans are? But I do know something. I do know that by the end of this year, we'll either going to be seeing the, I think it's probably going to be sooner than that, we will see the hatchback. That's going to be shown pretty soon. That's the next step that they're going to be showing that one. And then um, hopefully we'll see the SI for this this year also, and then they'll start shipping out next year. And the Type R will probably come in at the very, very end. That's just my prediction here. Um, I could be wrong. We're just making guesses here. There's nothing wrong with that. But my only gripe with the vehicle is, um, I'm sure I've said this in one of my videos, one of my many videos, that I do not like that, that, that fastback. But... Mm. I like the hatchback, the flat butts, because I like me some flat bottoms, flat butts. But they went with the sport or fastback, kind of giving it a little bit more, you know, you know, junk in the trunk, you know what I'm saying? Because anyway, if you enjoy this video, you know what to do. Give it a like and subscribe if you're lurking. I appreciate the, the views. Love my lurkers. Love you guys. Just letting you know that. And um, I hope you enjoy this content. But like I said before, future is electricity and Honda is going to try to implement them on many of their vehicles as possible. But the SI, I hope they just leave the SIs alone and leave the Type R alone and just fuck with all the other ones. But if you can deliver an all-wheel electric to the rear like that other company that's making it for your vehicles, that'd be fucking dope too. Anyway, um, I'm out of here. You guys have yourself a very wonderful day. This is me. I'm out. Oh, nope. That's not it.